that you can run these units. Kind of an interesting... <laughs> generation pushes your electrons through your stator wires and out through the ice phase tubes three phases three tubes there you go piping off piece of electric vibration monitors also piping. whatever you want potato to call it. potato yeah. <laughs> the other kind well actually the the plugs for the weights are already set, so you have the e the eccentricity is set, right? Like there's a hole that you put your weight in already. Yeah, yeah, and actually, that's part of the photos that I started pulling out. Is mm -hmm. I've got pictures of those shots. We call them they're balanced planes, is what we call them. But they're they're the holes that we screw these in. I didn't, I only showed you half of it, but <coughs> the other half is this this plug. We drop these balance weights in. And then we screw this plug yeah, down, right? And that plug actually just locks that balance weight in. Okay. Uh, but these are all the same weight, and they're right. But it is part of, and and that's kind of why when they sell them, they sell them like this, and right, it has and a set. set. Right. It's all part of the same measurement of weight. Well, that's good. So we have you have the big M already set, and okay. the eccentricity. So you, all you got to do is solve for the small M, and mm -hmm. you're done. And, and really, for balance, for our purposes, we're going to call the z-axis the axial movement of that machine. Mm -hmm. We don't set that with vibrations. We set that with thrust pads and thrust collars and, and right, thrust okay. absorbing bearing and things right, like that. Right, we right. don't mess with that. Right. All we're talking about is x, y. Right. Which really, x, y is a circle. Yeah, mm -hmm. makes it much easier. Um, Basically, uh, it's plugged in, and does it have mounts that will, you can hold it up to the shaft so it's a steady? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what happens is you know, the magnet. Magnet goes into your probe, probe plugs into port on your that connector basically. Mm -hmm. Right there and um, and and then you, you take readings. Now this thing is just a magnet, it sticks to various points on a pump or a motor or a fan, whatever. And you set this up and it actually has a route built into it. So it makes it real easy for anybody just to say, okay, next pump, this and this, mm -hmm. point one, point two, point three. Next motor, point one, point two, point three. And you just kind of go down the line. And, and all of that data gets saved into this, and then that data will get uploaded to be analyzed by a, a, a higher level vibration. He can go through and he knows what these accelerations and these different things will be used no. <laughs> but uh, that's how that works. So it's kind of interesting and, and see, you know, this is what they